Hello, this is Squeaky Pigeon. Um, right now I am uh, soldering up the speed controllers. I'm doing it tentatively. I'm not doing it permanently yet. Uh, right now the whole premise of this is to make sure that um, I got the motor spinning in the correct direction for the speed controller. Right now I'm doing engine number four. Engine number four should spin clockwise this, uh, this way. Um, I labeled my speed controller uh, number four, so I don't forget it. I used a, a black magic marker, and I also put on the leads one, two, three. And what I'm going to do is, is after I'm done, I make sure it's uh, soldered up correctly. I'll take uh, some blue tape, and I'll just write on it with a pin because it's easy to write on, and uh, it's easy to pull off, and so you don't have to jiggle with everything. So let's try to get this done really quick because I know nobody likes to watch long video. Uh, FYI, um, I tinned the speed controller and the motor leads. Uh, you make sure you want to do that because uh, you just never know. Whatever solder they use are in the factory. Um, this isn't always the best quality. So, oh shit. There you go. Okay, done. Now, what we need to do is, is we need to protect the wires so that they don't uh, cross each other when we do this. That'd be bad to burn up your speed controller on doing this. What I do is I just take a small piece of electrical tape. I'm using red just because it shows up better on the video. You can use black, you can use whatever. Anything to help isolate the wires and make sure they don't accidentally cross. I just put it on there flat because if you fold it over, it's a hassle to get off. Real big hassle. Okay, so now we need to hook up our battery. Now I'm not soldering anything on this. Uh, because, yes, I'm breaking down and getting a uh, power distribution board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put these apart like this, take my lead, stick it into my receiver, make sure I stick it in right, and we're just testing to make sure that we have the correct direction. We'll uh, set the uh, end points later on. So that's facing that way. This is facing this way. Easy peasy. Not a big deal. Turn my radio on. Welcome to Travels. Okay. Black, red, set. Warning. Not worried about that right now. Okay. Got a red indication on that. Set. Now we're going to let it go. Okay, now. It's kind of hard to tell if your motor spin in the right direction. What I found is if you just lightly put pressure on this and you allow the throttle just to go up just a little bit, you can see, and hopefully you can see this on the video, which way the motor is spinning. Because it's trying to uh, go against the uh, friction of your fingers. Right now it's showing me that it is going clockwise. So I'm good to go. So I'm going to hold the throttle down. Unplug the power. Done. Telemetry's lost. Big deal. Shut the radio off. Put that down. Pull this off so I don't cross these accidentally. Pull this out. Okay. So now I have the blue tape. I'm just going to take and number it with the black pin rather quickly. One, two, three. Bang. And I want to put it up as close as possible to the very top um, because when I go to solder back on for real, I need to leave room for my heat shrink. Otherwise, you still have your room, and that's not fun. You can take your helping hands off. FYI, on the helping hands, they're like 30 bucks at Radio Shack, which is absolutely ridiculous. But, you can go to Harbor Freight and get them for like five bucks. 
and big deal. These arms like break off all the time. You can always get replacements for that. The radio shot pennies. There's two. So we got three, two, and one. So now I'm gonna take the red tape off. Everything is good to go. Now I can take all of the speed controllers off. Let me zoom out real quick for you guys. Ooh, wrong one. I can zoom out. I have them all soldered up, all with the blue leads, uh, the blue, uh, I'm sorry, the blue labels from the tape, so I know what's going on. And when I flip it over, I have room to play with. And plus, if I want to reroute the wires again, I can do that because I already have them labeled. Um, I have found that you always want to solder your speed controllers into your power distribution board first and then solder your leads to your motors. It makes it much, much easier no matter what the size of quad is, uh, especially if it's a bigger one. You know how much wire you need to, to deal with when you're cutting wires and whatnot. Because, uh, you know, depending upon where you want to mount this, if you want to mount it on the arm, you may need a little bit longer here. It's easier to deal with adding two wires and three. Um, with the Mini, I'm thinking I'd rather have it internal so that it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. And uh, uh, also the other reason for this is, is to uh, eliminate uh, failure points. So if I solder it down good, it's going to be just fine. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, stand by for some more exceptional, awesome videos full of great fun and humor. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Thanks, guys. And gals.